Thank you guys so much for stopping by. You know I love when you do. This week, we're going to be talking about the philodendron burl marks and the philodendron embe. So, today we're going to talk about um, a plant that you guys already know if you watch my channel. It's the philodendron burl marks, which is one of my favorite philodendrons. Um, and one of the great things that I love about this channel um, is that it gives me, it's almost like a playground, so it gives me a chance to... Um, Kind of let you guys know what I like. I get to study new plants um, every week. And I think I've said this before, but like I figured out that some of my favorite plants are uh, philodendrons, um, Hoyas, Sansevieras, or Varias. I like Pothos, but I got a Hawaiian Pothos. And I rehab my silver set in Pothos, and um, I'm quite happy. So anyway, I've got this beautiful planter. Um, I'll take a picture of it with the plant in it when I'm done. Um, and it's gorgeous. It's an outdoor planter, but it has no drainage. So as you can see, um, I've already filled it up with some like that. Um, that's going to add to the drainage. I rinsed it off and I have a little bit of mesh wire here. Now, if you're inquisitive, uh, like I am, you probably are. Um, you're gonna say, what am I gonna use the mesh for? Well, first of all, for all my fashion students, you're gonna get really upset because I'm using my gingers to cut metal. I don't make clothes anymore. <laughs> so, I don't care. Do what I want. And they cut the mesh like butter. So, um, the mesh is important, especially when you're using Leica, because you're using Leica normally um, outside of propagation and actual growing of some plants. You're gonna use Leica um, to add extra drainage to uh, your pot. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna roughly measure that out. I don't have a roller. I don't think I need one. <laughs> so I'll my hand. And then I'll be upset when it's messed up. But no, I got my. <laughs> just wanna round it off a little bit. And again, this is just gonna catch some of that silt. Now, because this is a philodendron, I am going to be using um, a uh, cactus and palm mix. I didn't have any tropical mix, but this is gonna have that same um, high drainage quality that I need because these guys do not like to stay wet. They want to dry out completely in between waterings. Um, it's very important to always say it. You gotta know what you're buying. Some plants like a lot of water. Place this in here and since this pot is so big i am going to fill the bottom of this with um with some old soil that i have around so i'm not using great soil it's not like the roots um to my philodendrons are this long they're not that long probably about this long um they're not going to use up the whole pot um again so the leka is so that the water can drain through there's no hole in here i'm not going to drill one and the um screen is to just catch some of the silt that falls so that you just don't have a muddy mess up under there because that's not that there's no drainage um, when you do this you do have to however make sure that you are watering it the right way i showed you in another video my moisture meter i'll put that link in here too and uh in here too so that uh, you have that at your disposal um it will save you a lot of heartache your plants won't be dying. So, see that? So this is a nice barrier. I'm gonna go get that dirt. So this is my old dirt that I don't throw away. If a plant doesn't live, because it happens all the time, the secret to being a good landscaper or florist or whatever you can call it, is trial and error. And in this business, things die, baby. They die. So. As you can see, I filled the bottom of the pot um, with the dirt. I feel like I, at this point, I should not be saying like things like just dirt. <laughs> the substrate. At this point, I have filled my vessel with a substrate. <laughs> That's my old dirt. Um, I don't like throwing away old dirt. Um, again, this part of the pot is not gonna be used uh, by the plant, except for 
storage of water. And I like this mix for a few reasons. Um, it's fast draining for those plants, again, that don't like to sit in water. Um, Miracle Grow makes two soils, and I really like there's a tropical mix, and there is also the cactus and palm mix, which I think are pretty much kind of the same on this end. So for some reason, Google wasn't working, so I just bought them. I took them home. All right, get home. My wife, I paid my bill this month. So, um, I get them home and I look them up. I'm like, this still looks a lot like my bro marks, but the leaves are smaller. See, the leaves are a lot. Let's not show this one. See? are a lot smaller in comparison to the other one. Um, so anyway, I bought it home and realized that the Burl Marks philodendron is a philodendron I, uh, in May. It's the same thing. So since I already talked about the Burl Marks, I'm not going to. I just wanted to replant this and let you guys see it. So I'm going to gingerly but carefully This robe, this plant. I'm gonna untangle some of these roots. Um, I don't like to untangle it too much because I also feel like, you know what? Nature knows what it's doing. This little guy will find his way and those roots will kind of grow. So I don't, I just wanna get some of that dirt out of them, some of that old dirt substrate. And <laughs> make sure that they just have a good chance at growing this way. I was excited. I was like, this philodendron is from Africa. <laughs> like Bambay. But Brazil does have the highest concentration of Africans outside of Africa. It's either Brazil or Haiti, or both of them. So it makes sense. Yes, you are African. I pulled off a good one. <laughs> Not paying attention. I quarantined this. I didn't even really quarantine this. I put this separate from my other plants, but not like in a separate room. Um, it is important that you take the time to quarantine your plants. I'm just so excited about them being around and I've been very, very fortunate to not have any major pests like mealybugs or aphids or any of those things in my apartment. And I will be honest with you, it's not because I do anything special, but when I do see a problem, I address it uh, immediately. I'm all for that. So, where these guys are gonna go, right? It's gonna sit right here, and here, something like that. Be afraid of your plant but you do have to be careful um roots do grow back you know if you break them in nature they break the plants will break if there's a storm um so it's kind of good to understand that and know that it can be a bit not rough but straightforward with your plant and it will be okay i promise you i haven't gotten a ton of growth from this since i replanted it some of this old dirt or substrate um, because it was the right mix. And I don't want to throw out any mix. It takes the earth <laughs> millions of years to break dirt down, rocks down, mountains down to become the dirt you need for your plants. So reuse that dirt, that substrate. Ah! <laughs> don't throw it away. that I want them in. 
and um, yeah, let these guys grow. I think I'm going to plant them a little closer together. been happening to me right it's fall right now it's october 5th today in new york and well the first funny thing is this is like the first real fall we've had in i want to say decades i mean we had like 50 degree weather and for some reason global warming we haven't gotten 50 degree weather like that this early in the season for a very long time so i'm loving it and just like new york weather we get late fall for two weeks and then all of a sudden today it's 71 degrees so it's a little warmer than I wanted it to be but I'm wearing this sweater because <laughs> it was 57 degrees yesterday and um, I'm blazing so as soon as I finish this I'm taking a shower disrobing <laughs> taking a shower I'm gonna chill but I wanted to do this for you guys so bad I love doing this I get a little distressed like sad sometimes I don't have the following that a lot of people have. Just real talk with you guys while I do this. Thank you for listening. <laughs> but um, I get really, really happy when people watch my stuff and really, really like it, you know? Um, my aunt, my favorite aunt, I have two aunts in this world, and I say that to both of them. <laughs> my favorite aunts um but my aunt tina um really really made me happy one day when she um she complimented me on my girl mark's video so i'm thinking about that while i'm doing this um, she was a student of architecture um herself very very good um, so to hear her say that uh because girl marks was a very good architect um just makes me feel really good and special Heard. So thank you, Aunt Tina. And yes, her original name is Tina Turner. But she ain't from Nutbush. So this is really basically it. I'm using this time to pull it up. You never, ever, ever want to plant your plant above like like so above you have like the root ball you can come up a little bit but you really want to make sure you don't come up too much um because you'll suffocate your plant and she will die she will not like that <clears throat> so you just want to look at this from all sides um, it is going to grow in but you just want to make sure that you've covered all your bases like i am I'm going to give this a really good watering. I'm such a mess. I keep ripping leaves, Eugene. What the hell? I don't think you can root those without your nodes. Try anyway. Even I know it's not gonna work. It'll be decorative in a vase, in a balls, in a bud balls for a little while. All right, All right. I have my desire to where I want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and water her in a place where she's gonna be. And I wanna thank you guys. There you are. And I wanna thank you guys for stopping by. As always, like, subscribe, tell a friend, let's grow our family. Bye guys.
you guys so much for stopping by. If you like what you saw, make sure you like, subscribe, and tell a friend. I can't wait to see you guys next week, okay? Well, at least to know you're there. Bye. Thank you.